Hallelujah, mighty God. You have won the victory. Come on, sing it with me, saints. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death cannot hold you down. He's a mighty God. You are the risen King. Sing it with me this morning. Seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Come on and sing it. And strong. Hallelujah. Mighty God. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death cannot hold you down. You are the risen King. Seated, seated in majesty. You are the risen King. It's here, the book we've been waiting for. Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us. A complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today. Available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we end 2019, bringing this year to a close, thank you, God, for helping us to finish strong on this morning. God, we give you praise for what you did in our lives this year. As we prepare to go into another year, we are grateful, we are expectant, we are full of faith. We are excited about your plan for our lives. Have your way. We surrender 2019 to you. And we surrender 2020 into your hands. We say, Lord, not our will. Let your will be done. Work out your plans for our lives. Everyone under the sound of my voice, speak to them. Strengthen them this morning through the word of God. Bring clarity of thought and direction to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. Good morning to you, precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. Happy New Year's Eve. Wow, this is the last day of 2019. And I want to say this. We are very grateful for all of you who have been a part of this broadcast last year and now this year, 2019. We're getting ready to go into a new year. We, I'm excited and I'm inviting all of you to join us tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time right here on this channel. Join us tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, right here. Glory to God. I believe God have a word for you going into the new year. So, let's get on with this morning's broadcast. On this morning, we are talking about going deeper 
into God's plan, going deeper into God's plan. And I just want to say this. The Holy Ghost gave me a word early this morning for somebody. The Holy Spirit spoke these words to me. He said, someone is beating themselves up over bad decisions. You need to ask God to forgive you. Ask for God's forgiveness. Receive it and move on in Jesus' name. The past is the past. Quit beating yourself up. He loves you. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Just lift your hands to heaven, close your eyes and say, Father God, I've made some catastrophic decisions that have caused great harm to myself, my family, friends, ministry, workplace. I'm sorry. Forgive me for those decisions I've made. Listen, if you prayed that simple prayer, he has forgiven you in Jesus' name. You are forgiven. Now shake the dust off and get ready to move forward. He's given you a brand new year, saints. At least you made it to the end of 2019, getting ready to go into 2020. God is about to give you and I a brand new year. This is a new year. Let's don't carry our craziness into 2020. So on this morning, I want to talk about going deeper into God's plan. My God, we have covered some basis on this topic. And I just really feel driven by the Holy Ghost to spend some serious time in this topic concerning God's plan for your life. We talk about God has a plan for your life. We also talk about understanding God's plan on Sunday night the live broadcast we talk about stepping into God's plan and now we are talking about going deeper into God's plan and as we look at this topic we are looking at the life of Joseph we started that journey with Joseph on last night understanding God's plan and what, what we are doing this morning is we go on a step further. I want to take you into the book of Genesis, chapter 39, verses 1 through 6. Let me just encourage you. That's under the sound of my voice. If you have been praying and asking God to help you tap in to his plan, you want to know his will for your life. May I say this to you? Your journey have already begun. Well, Pastor Sean, how can you say that? Well, you are listening to this broadcast right now. God is actually answering your prayer right now. The steps of a good man, a woman, it's ordered by the Lord. Listen, God have ordered your steps. He is responding to the cry of your heart. He's responding to your prayer. And that's why you are captivated by this topic. Because God is speaking to you through this. He is revealing his will for your life. He is showing you how to tap into it. How to, how to, how to find his plan. How to understand it. How to cooperate with him. Are you hearing me? Jeremiah 29, 11. We started with that a few days ago. He said, I know the plans. I know the plans I have for you. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. And I want to read that to you from the New Living Translation of the Bible. Listen, he says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Wow, then we talk about understanding God's plan, stepping into God's plan. And this morning we're talking about going deeper. God's about to take you deeper into his plan. I believe 2020 will be a year where God help you really find his plan for your life and begin to walk that thing out. You listen, you got such a great year ahead of you. You God is gonna shock you. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Let's go into the book of Genesis chapter 39, continuing in the life of Joseph. Remember, we talk about Joseph on Sunday night. His brothers sold him as a slave to the Ishmaelites. And watch this now. Joseph's journey had begun. I mean, he had a rough beginning. God does not always bring you into his plan with smooth sailing. Sometimes he brings you, he brings you into his perfect plan through, through some 
trials and tribulations through some through some crazy things happening to you like his brothers sold him into slavery they thought they were getting rid of joseph all they were doing was helping joseph on his journey into the fulfillment of god's plan for his life genesis chapter 39 and joseph was brought down to egypt and potiphar an officer of pharaoh captain of the god an egyptian brought bought him of the hands of the ishmaelites which had brought him down there oh my gosh now watch this listen to verse two and the lord was with joseph and he was a prosperous man and he was in the house of his master the egyptian do you hear those words and the lord was with joseph well when did god started hanging with joseph a long time ago when his brothers was ripping his coat off of him god was right there god could have stopped them but he didn't why didn't he stop them because this was a part of his plan when they threw him into the pit god was with him when they sold him to the ishmaelites god was with him and some of you thought that when you were going through some of the craziness in your life you thought god had abandoned you god never have abandoned you he said i will never leave you nor forsake you he was with you the whole time look what happened when they threw shadrach meshach and abednego into the fire all of a sudden Jesus was made manifest. He was with them all along, but he just made his presence known and manifested by appearing in that fire. Shocked the daylights out of the king. So he's always with you. When you go into the fire, he's right there. When you come out of the fire, he's right there with you. My God, my God, my God, I'm talking to someone this morning. The Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master the Egyptian watch this this is a man sold into slavery you just can't keep a good man down you can't keep a good woman down when God's hands is on their life they're like Jack in the box every time you push them down and wind them up they will pop right back out of that box now watch this so the Bible says in verse 3 and his master watch this now his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all that Joseph did to prosper in his hand he, listen his Egyptian master fought Potiphar an unsaved man a worshiper of false gods could realize the true and living God was with Joseph my God my God I love this his master saw that the Lord was with him. Listen here, friend. You are in God's plan. People can literally, they can see God is working with you. They know God is on your side. They know God is helping you. That's why you are prosperous. It's not because you are good. It's because because you are in the center of God's plan. You are in the center of God's will. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. And Joseph found grace in his sight. He found favor in his sight and served him. And he made Joseph overseer over his house. And all that he had, he put it into Joseph's hand. This, this is a man who was just stripped by his brothers. They ripped off his coat of many colors, threw him into a pit and left him there overnight. And then when he woke up the next morning, when they saw the Ishmaelite traders coming, they sold him to the Ishmaelite traders as a slave. This man is, he is an immigrant in a foreign country with different customs than what he is used to. And God is with this man and promoting him, prospering him, and beginning to raise him up. That's the kind of God I serve. Are you hearing me? I say God is going to raise you up. God is, I feel the Holy Ghost right here. Glory to God. God is taking you deeper into his plan. And you got to trust God. Trust the, trust the God of the plan. It's not so much the plan. It is the God of the plan. And it is God's plan. He 
is working his plans out in your life my friend I said he is working his plan out in your life my God my God what the devil means for evil God's making it work together for your good and Joseph found grace in his sight and he served him and he made Joseph who was a slave he made him overseer over his house and all that he had he put it into Joseph's hand you just can't stop the plan of God and it came to pass from the time that he made Joseph overseer over his house and over all that he had that the Lord blessed the Egyptians house for Joseph's sake this man ain't stupid he realized God's blessing my house because of Joseph wow that the Lord blessed the Egyptians house for Joseph's sake and the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field and he left all that he had in Joseph's hand and he knew not anything he had not even the bread which he did eat and Joseph was a goodly person and well favored Pharaoh didn't know nothing going on in his house I'm sorry except the bread which he did eat he put everything into Joseph's hand he promoted Joseph next in charge to himself oh my gosh look at God look at God this man is in a place where he have no family members to fend for him Oh, that'll put some of us to shame. Oh, my family did this. My family listened to me, good friend. All you need is God on your side. Joseph had nobody. He had no cousins, no aunts, no uncles, no brothers, no sisters. He had nobody but God. I feel the Holy Ghost. All you need is God on your side. God is with you, my friend. God is prospering you. You getting ready to go into 2020. Take your eyes off of people and put your eyes on God. The greatest statement I read in a book that I read by Dr. R. Roberts was when he said, nobody owes you a thing. He said, God is your source. Look to God. That statement set me free because I used to feel like, well, man, I'm ministering to people. They don't realize I'm struggling. I'm having a tough time. We need help. But I was failing because I had my eyes on people instead of putting my eyes on God. Oh, but the minute we made that adjustment on the inside and realized nobody owes us a thing, it set us free and broke us out of that man-made prison. And we realize, when we realize that God is our source, that if you seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, all these things will be added. When we look to him and realize that, my God, my God, lift your hands to heaven. I feel the Holy Ghost right here talking to somebody. When you realize that Philippians 4.19 says, but my God shall supply, he shall supply all your need not some all according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus that's the day you get that revelation down in your spirit that's the day you'll be a free man and a free woman quit whining about who didn't do what for you don't carry that attitude into 2020 look to God he is responsible for you God is your source and he's taking you deeper into his plan for your life my god all to all to thee all to jesus i surrender i feel this this morning i surrender all i surrender all oh i surrender all, all to thee, all to thee, my blessed Savior, 
I surrender. Listen. So you Christians first, just lift your hands to heaven and say, God, I surrender everything to you. My life, my will, my future, my family, my marriage, my children, my job, my business, ministry, my finances, my health. I surrender all to you. I put it into your hands. I trust you, God, because you are the God of the plan. I trust you. Now, for some of you who have not, you have not, you are not saved. If you are not saved, God wants to bring you into His plan. The beginning of finding God's plan is surrendering your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I want you to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus right now. Pray with me and surrender your life to Jesus without any hesitation. Do not go into a new year without Jesus because you will surely fail. Are you hearing me? He loves you. Pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I ask you to wash me in your blood. I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me in your blood. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on Calvary Cross for me. You were buried in a borrowed tomb. And on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand and soon and very soon you are coming again thank you Lord Jesus for forgiving me of all of my sins and saving my soul and putting me in your plan thank you for writing my name in the Lamb's book of life friends if you prayed that prayer with me your sins have been forgiven what a way to end 2019 your sins have been forgiven now you're ready to go into 2020 god is going to do great things in your life are you listening to me how oh, we serve a good god god is able to do now for the rest of you i want to give you an opportunity help us to end strong i want you to continue to support the work of god support the kingdom of God the gospel of Jesus Christ I want you to sow a seed right now give a donation an offering a love gift to support the kingdom of God and the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry PayPal account that address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. Happy New Year's Eve. I'll see you in 2020. I'll see you tonight because I got a word for you tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, right here on this channel. God bless you. It's coming from me and my lovely, beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you so much. We appreciate you. God bless you. Take care now. Bye-bye.